we're going to have a lot of practice analyzing sentences in this classwork. So maybe before we get started, uh, why don't you stop the video for a second and write down what are the steps for analyzing a sentence? So absolutely. Are there any shifters? If there are, separate them with parentheses from the trunk. Uh, mark the two X word places. That's next. And then box subject. And draw a wavy arrow over the predicate. Now, I usually show the M and the Y places next, but honestly, the best thing to do would be to find the ties, and that makes it easier to find the M in the Y place. Next, if there's a verb in Y that's, that has a tie, then we should name the verb form. Name the verb form in Y. And then name the phrase in Y. Okay, we do that. Then we rewrite the Y. Find the verb, particle, object and complement places in Y. Name the phrase in the object and complement places. And if we have an adverbial included sentence, then we rewrite the adverbial included sentence. Now that means that we have a adverbial included sentence because it's in the shifter place. We rewrite the adverbial included sentence, cross out, label the includer, and start again. Those are our, our steps. So let's practice. We'll do this. This is an interesting story, by the way, at the same time. I think you'll enjoy the story. And let's follow the same system that we've been doing all along. You uh, stop the video, analyze the sentence, and when you're done, come back and we'll analyze it together. That way we can get some feedback and make sure that things are going well. You can always stop at any point you like, and then you can um, uh, talk about it. Let me make the screen just a little bit bigger so we can get it inside the frame. Okay, and I'll begin. Some years ago, a Norwegian psychologist ran a very interesting experiment. Did a Norwegian psychologist run a very interesting experiment? Did not run. And that makes a Norwegian psychologist the subject and everything between the predicate. The M place is empty. And Y is ran a very interesting experiment. So now, ran ties with the past some years ago and that is a past form why is a verb phrase with time following my steps i rewrite the phrase ran a very interesting experiment. 
So ran is the verb, the particle is empty, and a very interesting experiment is the object that's a noun phrase. We're done. The adverbial uh, phrase, what's in the shifter place, it's not an adverbial sentence, included sentence, so we don't need to deal with anything more at this point. Please stop the video, take a look at the next sentence, and come back and we'll look at it together. At a preschool in Denmark, he gathered together a number of two and three year old toddlers. So, at a preschool in Denmark, and let me make this just a little bit bigger. I think I used a different size font here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The X word is did. Did he gather? He didn't gather. He is the subject. Predicate. And gathered ties with the past. It's the past form. The M place is here after the X. Y is gathered together. And that's a past, oops, excuse me, that's a verb form with time. Let's rewrite it. Gathered together. A number of two and three year old toddlers and the verb is gathered. Now this is a toughie here. I'm going to call it a particle and a number of two and three year old toddlers let's call the object and that's a noun phrase. That together, in many ways, it seems like it could be the complement, and uh, maybe it is, but I think just because it comes before the uh, object here, I'd feel comfortable, more comfortable calling it a particle gathered together, and we'll kind of maybe say that gathered together forms a kind of a special idea. Okay, now, uh, the, pre the shifter, it's not an in adverbial included sentence, so basically we're done. The complement place is empty in this sentence. Let's continue. Okay, Ch analyze this sentence and then come back when you're ready. So the shifter, while he was talking to them, he pretended to drop something. He did not pretend. He is the subject. Predicate. And the ties. Pretended ties with the past. It's the past form. And the why is a verb phrase with time. Let's rewrite the why. I think by now you're getting to be very good at this analysis practice here. Pretended to drop some blocks, whoops, excuse me, some books accidentally on the floor. So pretended is the verb, two is the particle, and drop some books accidentally on the floor 
is the object and it's a verb phrase with oops excuse me verb phrase no time it's the base form it's an example of that in to infinitive okay and the complement place is empty now we have to d take a look at the shifter <clears throat> while he was talking to them <coughs> and that is an <clears throat> adverbial included sentence so let's rewrite it <clears throat> while he was talking to them while is the includer and once I cross out the includer I'm really left with a sentence again uh, there's no shifters was is the X word and the predicate now was ties with the subject was ties with the past and was ties with talking that's the ing form the m place is here and talking to them is why verb phrase no time rewrite the why talking to them Talking is the verb. To them is the complement. The particle and object places are empty, and the complement is a prepositional phrase. Now please stop the video. Take a look at the next sentence. He repeated this accident a number of times. A number of times he repeated this accident. Now, if you don't feel that's a shifter, you could leave it in the predicate. Um, it wouldn't really make a big difference to us. The X word is he. He did not repeat. He is the subject. The predicate. Repeated ties with the past past form the M place is empty and why is repeated this accident that's a verb phrase with time I rewrite the why repeated this accident repeated is the verb the particle place is empty what did he repeat this accident that's the object it's a noun phrase and the complement place is empty now even though he never thanked the children Okay, but please first uh, analyze this one first and then come back. Even though he never thanked the children, they always helped him to pick up the books. Okay, there's my shifter. Did they always help? They did always help. They is the subject. Predicate. Um, helped ties with the past, past form, the M place is always is there, and then helped him to pick up the books is why, why is a verb phrase with time. Let's rewrite the verb phrase. helped him to pick up 
the books. Helped is verb. There's no particle here. The object is a noun phrase. Now here we have a particle and it goes together with pick up the books. That's the object. Oops. That's a verb phrase. No time. Base form. Okay. And the complement place is empty. Now let's take a look at our shifter. Our shifter is an ad adverbial included sentence. So we can analyze that. First we rewrite it. Even though he never thanked children. So even though is our includer, let's label that. And now, did he never think? He did never think. He is the subject. Predicate. Thanked ties with past. Past form. Never is the M word. Why is a verb phrase with time. Thanked the children. Thanked is the verb. No particle. The children is the object, noun phrase. Okay, please stop the video, take a look at the next sentence, and then we'll go on. The interesting part of the experiment came next. Did the interesting part of the experiment come next? The interesting part of the experiment did not come, and now I have the subject and the predicate. There's no shifter. Came ties with the past. Seems like all these verb forms are past forms. The M place is here, it's empty. Y is came next, and that's a verb phrase with time. Well, actually, I didn't see that, but you know what? We could say next is the shifter. Sorry about that. Came is the verb. And if you wanted to, I suppose we could uh, put it here in the complement place, but let's just leave it as a shifter. Came is the verb, particle, object, and complement. You can see that, um, you know, everything isn't uh, so cut and dried. Some, some uh, parts of our analysis we can actually do different ways. It, there, there's a, there is some flexibility in this, and that's why later, you know, we'll have, we'll have a chance maybe to talk about why the same group of words can be understood in different ways. It really has to do with how we parse it, and that means how do we assign places and roles to the different words and phrases we find. In this case, putting next in the complement or putting it as a shifter wouldn't make a difference, but let's leave it as a shifter. So, please, take a look at the next one. He knocked the books off the table on purpose. 
again, if you wanted to, you could, uh, you know, say maybe there's no shifters. Uh, I think we could put a shifter here. On purpose, he knocked the books off the table. Did he knock the books? He did not knock the books. He is the subject. And the predicate is in between. Knocked ties with the past. It's the past form. The M place is empty. The Y, knock the books off the table, is a verb phrase with time. Knocked the books off the table. Knocked is the verb. Particle place is empty. The books is the object, noun phrase, and off the table is the complement, prepositional phrase. Okay, next one. Stop the video and you take a look at the next sentence, analyze it, and then come back when you're ready. And this is so interesting. This time, when the children saw, they did not help him. This time, when the children saw, they did not help him. This is a very interesting experiment. Now, did is the X word. I move it here to make the question. They is the subject. Predicate. Now, did ties with the past. Did ties with help. That's the base form. The M place is not. Help him is why. And that's a verb phrase. No time. Let's rewrite the why. Help him. And help is the verb. No particle. Him is the object. It's a noun phrase. Now there's two shifters. This time is a noun phrase, but when the children saw is an adverbial included sentence. So we need to bring that down when the children saw when is the includer did the children see the children did not see the children is the subject saw is the predicate now saw ties with the past it's the past form. The M place is here. It's empty. Saw is Y. And that's a verb phrase with time. Saw is the verb. The particle object and complement places are all empty. Okay, stop the video, analyze the next sentence. Uh, be careful on this one, could be a little tricky. This experiment is very revealing. The X word is is, no shifters. This experiment is the subject. Predicate. Is ties with subject. Is ties with present. 
Now, does is tie with revealing? No. The M place is here in between is and very, and very revealing is Y. Now, it doesn't look like it exactly, but it is, in this case, very revealing is an adjective phrase. There's no tie with revealing in is, even though revealing is actually the ing form. So, let's rewrite the Y. Very revealing. And we'll see that the verb place is empty, the particle place is empty, the object place is empty, and that leaves just the complement, which is an adjective phrase. Stop the video, come back when you're ready. After he completed his study, the researcher wrote a paper. Did the researcher write a paper? The researcher did not write a paper. The researcher is the subject, the predicate, road ties with the past, past form, The M place is empty, and wrote a paper is Y. That's a verb phrase with time. The Y wrote a paper. The verb is wrote. The particle, the place is here. A paper is the object, it's a noun phrase, and the complement place is empty. Now I take a look at the shifter, I see it's an adverbial included sentence, so I need to rewrite it and take a look at it. After he completed his study, After is the includer. Did he complete? He did not complete. He is the subject. Completed his study is the predicate. Completed ties with the past. The M place is here, the Y. This is the past form. And so Y is a verb phrase with time. Finish this by looking at the verb phrase. Completed his study. Verb, particle, object, noun phrase and complement place is empty. Now you can see that, you know, little by little, we're starting to look in different parts of the sentence. Now we're already looking at shifters. And um, the whole idea, our goal, is when we're done with this class, we'll be able to analyze every word in the sentence. Right now, we're not quite there, but every lesson brings us a little bit closer to being able to analyze every single word. So let's continue. Please stop the video and take a look at the next sentence, analyze it, and when you're ready, come back. <clears throat> His conclusion was that children are altruistic. No shifters. The X word is was, was his conclusion. His conclusion is the subject, 
predicate, was ties with the subject, was ties with the past. There's no verb ties here, so there's no verb in the Y. M. Now we need to decide what kind of phrase is that children are altruistic. Absolutely correct. This is a trunk. And we're going to be talking about this kind of a uh, phrase later, but you can see it has the word that children are altruistic. This is an included sentence, but it's not adverbial. So let's rewrite the why. That children are altruistic and the verb place is empty, particle place is empty, object place is empty, you can't have an object without a verb, so this is the complement and we can say it's an included trunk or that really means the same as sentence without shifters and we're done. Okay, please, let's go on. Take a look at the next sentence. I'll be here waiting for you. Children are born ready to help others. Are our children, children is the subject, Present, are with born, DTN form. Now this is what we identified earlier is a passive sentence, right? When we have R together with the DTN form. The M place is here, it's empty. And the Y is born ready to help others. Now born heads the Y. This is a verb phrase no time. And let's see how this verb phrase looks. So let's rewrite it. Born, ready to help others. So we have born is the verb. There's no particle. There's no object in this sentence. And how were they born? ready to help others. This is the object, well, I'm sorry, this is the complement, it's an adjective phrase. Because the head is ready. All right, stop the video and please do the next one, analyze it. I think this is our last sentence. If you were part of this study, would you behave the same way? Shifter, X word. You would behave. You is the subject. Predicate. And would ties with the past. Would ties with behave. Well, that's the base form. The M place is empty. And Y is behaved the same way. Y is a verb phrase. No time. And we have behaved the same. Behave. the same way. Behave is the verb. Particle. The object and the complement. How would you behave? The same way. And that's a noun.
Okay, are we done? Not exactly, because we still have an added verbial included sentence that we need to finish off with. So let's rewrite that. If you were part of this study. Includer. Now that we cross off the includer, we're left with a sentence, and we know how to deal with that. X words, there's no shifter. Here's the other X word place. U is the subject. Predicate. Word ties with the subject. Word ties with the past. There's no verb here. The N. And part of this study, the head for this phrase is part. And that's a noun phrase. And last, let's rewrite the Y part of this study. And the verb place is here, particle place here, object place here, and part of this study is the complement. It's a noun phrase. Okay, we've checked all our sentences. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying this. Uh, I personally like the feeling that we can take a sentence and we can break it down and see exactly how it's been put together, what, what the structure of it is. And we'll be able to do this in more detail even as we continue. So I'll see you next lesson.